Hey folks, welcome to another Sunday Sounds video. I'm David Faltzgraf, founder of Sunday Sounds, and today we've got a brand new keys tutorial for you all about how you can... Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry folks, just a second, I gotta take this call. Hey David. Hey Matt, how's it going? How's it going, man? What are you up to? Oh, I'm, I'm actually in the middle of a video shoot right now. I'm just sh shooting a new keys tutorial for Sunday Sounds. Yeah, that's exactly why I'm calling. You're on the wrong account. What do you mean I'm on the wrong account? You're on the Loop Community account. How did that even happen? How'd you get on here? Really? I mean, I don't know. This has never happened to me before. Well, I guess while we're at it, do you just want to do a crossover episode? Yes, I love that. Okay, so since we're here together, why don't we announce a new feature in the Prime app? Yeah, people love that. Tell them what we've been working on together. Yeah, let's do it. Introducing the all new Tonic Pad Player, which is now available in the Prime app by Loop Community. Okay, folks, so now we're inside of the Prime app. And first thing you're gonna to want to do is make sure you have the latest version of Prime downloaded from the iPad or Mac App Store. This is the main screen in Prime, and I'm sure if you're an existing Prime user, this is already familiar to you, but you might notice that the Pad Player section in the bottom right corner looks just a bit different. Let's dive in and explore everything that's new in the Tonic Pad Player in Prime. There's been a Pad Player in Prime for several years now, but up until this point, there's only been one preset available, and that's this foundation preset, and it sounds like this. It's a really nice sounding pad, but we wanted to bring an entirely new experience to unlock lots of flexibility for all Prime users. And we've done that by bringing the Tonic Pad Player experience from the Sunday Keys app and porting the entire experience over to Prime. To get started, just tap the preset name and that opens up this all new menu. Now, after you've updated to the latest version of Prime, you will see this exact view here when you open up the Tonic Pad. The first thing you need to do is tap check for downloads in the top right corner. And this is gonna download all of the new Tonic Pad presets that are available to you in your version of Prime. Now there are two huge improvements that we're bringing to Prime with the Tonic Pad player. The first is for everyone, and that experience gives everyone, including folks just using the free version of Prime, more pad presets to choose from. Free users will now have 13 different presets to choose from, and as you'll see in a moment, you can mix these pad sounds together to create your own unique pads. And then the really incredible value is for folks with a Prime Pro Plus subscription or higher. If you have that subscription, you'll find a ton of additional pad presets and individual layers that give you both instant access to beautiful pre-mixed drone pads and the ability to easily customize your pad mixes at will, so they're just right. We'll talk you through that in just a minute. So let's walk through the new features in the Tonic Pad Player in Prime. On the left side of the screen, you'll see the factory presets that are available to you. And everyone, including folks using the free version of Prime, will now find that they have 13 different presets to choose from, starting with Classic Bright, all the way down to Classic Warm. These are the presets that everybody in Prime can expect to see. Let me go ahead and select Bright. I'm gonna turn the pad on here so you can hear how it sounds. These 13 presets cover a lot of ground from Bright to Dark. More motion with Evolving. You've got a guitar-based pad, which is really beautiful. An organ pad. This next one features the reverse piano. It might be my favorite of the classic presets. And for each of these presets, you can adjust the tone in two ways. You can bring down the brightness, you want it to cut through the mix a little less, and you can also add shimmer to taste. At the bottom left corner, you also have adjustable crossfade. This determines how quickly the pads will transition, both from one key to another and from one preset to another. So if I bring the crossfade down substantially and then select a different preset, it will fade much more quickly. Most of the time you're gonna want a pretty smooth, slow crossfade. 10 seconds will work most of the time. And then we have classic warm. You can also pan the pad left and right if you're running it in stereo. 
So these are the 13 core sounds that every Prime user now has available to them in the latest version of Prime. But you might notice that each of these presets only fills one of these layers here, and that lets me adjust the volume. I can tap Add Layer and mix up to four different layers together to create my own pad preset. Now I'm gonna tap Add Layer here, and if you're on the free version of Prime, then what you'll find available to you is this classic tonic layer. But if you tap Voice, you can choose from any of those 13 different voices and mix them together as you'd like. So I can mix the warm voice and the strings voice together, for example, and dial in something that feels right to me. Maybe you just want a hint of those strings. I'll add one more layer. And again, even free users of Prime have the classic tonic voice available. Let me also layer in my favorite reverse piano. Even as you switch voices, those fades are always seamless as well, which is really, really nice if you need to make adjustments to your pad on the fly. So I've got a pretty cool mix here. I'm gonna go ahead and save this as a preset. New favorite, hit create. Now I can always pull this back up within my user presets over here. Now that I've got this voice dialed in, I'm gonna hit done, and we're back on the main screen of Prime. Now, I wanna talk you through this preset lock icon that's down here on the right side of the tonic pad player. When preset lock is turned on, it will capture the current settings, and then anytime you select this item in your set list again, they'll be automatically recalled. And that includes whether the tonic pad is on or off, the volume, and then the mix of the settings inside of this screen, including the brightness, the shimmer, and the mix of those four layers. Now what is not stored with preset lock is the key, and there's a reason for that. I'm gonna open Prime Settings, and in General Settings, you'll see that we have this option called Tonic Pad Follows Key of Tracks. And when that's on, the Tonic Pad will automatically assume whatever key the current set list item has. So then if I select this next item in the set list, Amazing Grace and G, the Tonic Pad will automatically follow to G and that transition, of course, is gonna be smooth. The timing there being controlled by the crossfade control. So you can preset lock per set list item. So now I've got This Is Amazing Grace with preset lock on, and then I have Amazing Grace with preset lock on with different settings. And when I select my second set list item, it's automatically gonna to jump to that new key, and it's gonna seamlessly fade to that new preset. We could do this to adjust the volume, the brightness, the shimmer, as well, and that's all gonna be relative to the crossfade time. Anytime preset lock is not turned on, that means that whatever the previous settings were are gonna be passed through. So if I go to prayer time, which is just a click track, and I don't have preset lock on, the existing settings are gonna be maintained. Super helpful if you're entering a time where you're sort of flowing and you just want whatever you've already done to the tonic pad to continue without you having to remember to adjust it or lock it. So if you're going through a set list and you want the same tonic pad settings across all of the set list items, you can just preset lock the first one and then let it go. Then if you make any adjustments as you go, maybe you bring the volume up or down on the fly, those will just be passed through as you move through your set list, which means you're gonna have a smooth experience with no weird jumps or unexpected changes. So now that we've talked through how preset locked works and explained the tonic pad follows key of tracks setting, I'm gonna turn the tonic pad back on, open up the menu, and this is what I'm really excited for. I wanna talk you through the more advanced functionality that everybody with a Prime Pro Plus subscription or higher now has available to them inside of the tonic pad player in Prime. The first difference is obvious. You have a bunch more presets, 36 additional presets right now at the time of this feature being released, and we'll be adding more presets every month for folks who stay subscribed. So you can select these presets and you'll find that all four of the layers are often filled, which just gives you a fuller sound and also allows you to make easy, fine-tuned adjustments to the mix of the pad. So you can see each of these layers is contributing something quite specific. and that fullness comes from the mix of the four layers together. So there's tons to explore without having to get all specific about the pad sounds. You can just explore the built-in presets and find a wide range of coverage. 
from simple and subdued, dark, warm, bright, lots of motion. This one has lots of shimmer. There's tons to explore and you can do a lot to glue together your transitions, cover times of prayer, and just fill out the sound of your band overall as you run your tracks in Prime. Anytime you find settings you like, just make sure you go back to the main screen and lock the preset to the set list item you're on. Then the next time you go to that song or that click in your set list, it'll automatically and seamlessly recall. So the first thing that Prime Pro Plus subscribers and higher are getting is tons more presets and an extended level of detail for those presets. Now let me talk through where you can really take ownership of the specific pad sound that you want. Obviously you can mix up to four layers, but with that subscription, you unlock all of the individual layers that we use to build all of these presets. So you can grab a layer that you'd like and load it in. You can build your own pad presets from the ground up or easily modify the existing presets we provide so they sit better in the context of your band. But there's even more flexibility if you want it. On the right side of each layer, you can choose the voice. When you select that, it reveals a menu where you can choose the octave range and the performance for that specific layer. So right now I'm working with this strings moody cellos layer. This is the low voice, so it occupies that lower space. I could choose mid, we already heard that one, so I'm gonna choose high. The right voicing and tonality for your pad can go a long way to making sure it glues together your band instead of drones on and on and stands out too much in the mix. And having the ability to choose different voices as you go through your set list, change keys, all that sort of thing, can make a big difference. And it doesn't take very long either. So we'll go here to the second layer. Many of these performances have a second option, a melodic option, and for the first time in Prime, even a minor key option. So if you're doing true minor key songs, not just songs that play the six a lot, then you can choose the minor voice. And that can be really, really nice. Christmas songs coming up, that sort of thing. So you can take full ownership of every detail of your pads in the tonic pad player by choosing the layers one at a time. Tons and tons and tons of different kinds of sounds available, and you can get very specific about how much space they fill by choosing different voices. There's really lots to explore, and as we release new pad presets every month, we always include new layers and voices as well. So if you care about the specific details character of your drone pads, then you're gonna love the Tonic Pad Player in Prime. So if you're a subscriber at the Prime Pro Plus tier or higher, towards the beginning of each month, we'll be releasing these new pad presets and layers, and you can just check for downloads at the start of the month to make sure you're up to date. Can't wait to deliver more pad presets, even more flexibility in the way you use ambient pads for worship, now available in the Prime app. So that's an overview of the all new Tonic Pad Player now available in Prime. So excited to share this with you. Can't wait to hear how you use it to cover transitions and glue together the sound of your band as you run your tracks in Prime. Don't forget that you can preset lock to any set list item and you can also always make on the fly adjustments. Explore those presets. If you don't already have a Prime Pro Plus subscription, there has never been a better time to upgrade you don't just unlock the full Tonic Pad experience, but tons of other benefits as well. So head to the link in the description if you'd like to learn more about Prime Pro. And if you have any questions or comments about this new Tonic Pad player experience in Prime, please leave a comment, we'd be happy to help. Can't wait to hear how you use it. Thanks for watching.